Here is the 15th problem of code DB. It is called maximum overray. Although really you are to select both maximum and minimum. And uh, it is just evolution of uh, minimum of three problem which we have already seen and solved. Input data there gives us uh, a sequence of values, a constant amount of them, a 300. And uh, let us see how the human works on this task. Uh, we uh, store some current minimum in our head. Let us uh, call it var variable m, for example. And initially it is, uh, for example, zero. Some small value if we are going to choose the maximum. Then we go through all these values and compare each of them with current minimum. First we compare 31. It appears to be greater than 0, so we uh, replace the current minimum with this uh, new value. Uh, here it is, 31. Uh, the next is 14, and when we compare it with 31, we found that it isn't greater, so we safely ignore them, ignore it, and continue. Uh, 15 is also less and also is ignored. Uh, the same with 9 and 26. 53 uh, in its turn appears to be greater than current minimum, than 31. Uh, so we replace the current minimum again with uh, 53. Here it is. Uh, we continue and uh, skip 5, since it is far less than current minimum, uh, and we came to 89. 89 is greater than 53, so 53 is forgotten, and we store uh, 89 in its place. Uh, after this, uh, all other values would be uh, less, so we show that they are also ignored. And uh, when the whole sequence is processed, we simply print out uh, the value of m, which holds the current maximum. Uh, so let us see how this could look like in the form of imaginary code. Here it is. We initialize two uh, variables, uh, n for uh, counting over iterations, over the input values, uh, it is constant uh, for this problem, and the second is m for holding current maximum. Uh, so inside the loop, which uh, iterates from 1 to n to 300, we uh, iterate over the lines and we firstly read uh, values, for example 31 at first, then we compare it with the current minimum, 31 with 0, and uh, if it is greater we overwrite the current maximum with the newly read value, so it also become 31 on the first iteration, then uh, Somewhere in future it will become 53 and 89 at last. Uh, so we will print out 89 as the result. Uh, we can extend this algorithm to also search for minimum. Uh, let us uh, uh, add variable, for example, L for it, and uh, assign some very large value. For example, one million uh, thousand million to it. Uh, so we will just add here another if uh, conditional statement and we'll compare x with l uh, to see whether the current minimum should be overwritten with the newly read value. Uh, I leave it 
up to you to finish uh, this code and implement it in your favorite language. Hope you will be able to solve this problem uh, very speedy. So good luck and I will glad to see you again with the next problems.